Hey guys, just want to do a really quick intro. Um, if you're new, I'm Julia. We are doing a rule of five. It's one of my number one shopping rules. Long story short, before you purchase an item, you have to think of five ways that you can style it in, with items that you already own that are in your closet before you can purchase. If you cannot create the five items, you do not get to purchase. So we're gonna style this sweater skirt from H&M five different ways today. And this is our first way. We just did a coordinating sweater also from H&M both through this season and some black OTK boots. This is perfect. There's like a teeny tiny heel because I don't wear heels that much. Um, so I wanted just a little bit of a heel, but something I could like walk and run errands in all day long. This is perfect for the office. Once it gets a little cold, like an OTK boot. Oh yeah, because you can't see this OTK. So it's actually an over the knee boot. Um, but putting your boots, like an over the knee boot and then wearing a dress over, it's like very like chic and like super into it and it's gonna keep you warm. So this is our first look, very office appropriate and wherever else you wanna go. Okay, I have to be honest, I have not tried on all five looks yet and we're only on look two, but I think this might be my favorite. <laughs> but it could just be because there's sneakers involved, there's a white sweatshirt, and a sweatshirt and a sneakers are currently the way to my life. Um, I think this is perfect for just anything you're doing on the weekend, specifically. Uh, same skirt from H&M. We have a misguided crop top, and then I'm wearing the um, Cali Puma sneakers, which I'm obsessed with, and I've been wearing these a few times a week. Uh, they're my fall sneaker, my fall white sneaker. Another casual look, so you know it's my favorite. So we're still wearing our um, Cali Puma sneakers. And did I wear this already? I can't, I don't know if I showed you this already. This is a, um, the clutch is an oversized clutch from Alternative Apparel. It was gifted to me by a friend for my birthday of many, many years ago. This is where the rule of five comes in handy. Everything I'm wearing is old except the skirt. Oh, and the sneakers. My denim jacket, I bought, it's Ralph Lauren. I bought it 10, maybe 15 years ago from Macy's. Shirt is um, a little older from TJ Maxx. And then my hat is actually $3 at Walmart. They have it right now, go get that. And then my uh, name earrings are just older from my shop that I, I no longer have, but that's where it's from. So I love this look, super casual, so chic. We're losing some lighting there. And it is the epitome of the rule of five because everything is old except the skirt and the sneakers. So for this look, uh, my ear was poking out. So I just put my hair behind my ear. So just let's move on, let's move on, let's move forward. Um, so this look, we definitely have a city chic look. So I did a um, lace up booty, suede heeled lace up booty with our H&M skirt, we have our the same white tee from the last time because the one I was supposed to actually wear is in the dryer. It's okay. And then the satin bomber that I also picked up at H&M from end of year sale, like in July for like $10. MCM clutch, a classic MCM clutch that I purchased for this fall. And then our hat, this is from the Target men's section, purchased it about 10 years ago. And I did not tell you guys about the booties. The booties I bought last fall and winter. So everything here is pretty much old except our skirt and our clutch. So we are rule of fiving it, honey. Okay, so I thought I have seen my favorite look, but I think this may be my favorite look. It's definitely a close runner. Um, we look very casual up top, but because of our shoe selection, we have sassed it up, honey. We are going places, go wing places, okay? Um, so we're wearing, <laughs> I'm just very excited. We're once again wearing our H&M skirt. This is our rule of five piece. Um, I have the MCM clutch again, and then the, uh-oh. I wonder if that recorded or not. And then I have the same um, ankle booties that I purchased last fall and winter. This crop, it's a ribbed, Cable knit, sorry. Cable knit cropped with a cinched ripped waist. Um, crop top, it's kind of cropish from Express last year. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I just purchased this hat from H&M. You see that tag back there? I thought I had a black suede hat, but I don't 
I think maybe I did and got, I don't know where it's at, but this one was only $4 and it fits my head better. I don't know if you know this, I have a very, very small head. Um, so it's hard for me to find hats that fit my head. And this one fits way better than the other one I had. So $4, totally worth it. Um, but we mixed and match our new pieces being the bag and the skirt and our $4 hat with our old pieces, the sweater and the booties. And because I could not decide on how to, what shoe to wear with this, I'm gonna change shoes and show you technically a sixth look, but kind of we're still in the rule of five. So we've changed our shoes to just um, fur slide-ons. This without the hat, it was like a tote bag, would be perfect for work if you wanna be comfortable, but yet, you know, still be office appropriate. I think this would be a really, really um, good option, but I just didn't wanna take my hat off because I had to do my hair and I still have to take a picture for Instagram. You know, this will be still getting the hat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's Rule of Five. If you found this video helpful and inspiring, please give it a thumbs up. Assuming you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Julia Marie B, hey, how you doing? Um, we have, or I have a free downloadable, so you can download the Rule of Five ebook, which is going to help you maximize your wardrobe by implementing the rule of five. It includes the backstory of the rule of five, the first, my first like three purchases, why I created the rule of five. There is a workbook to help you uh, narrow down your like staple wardrobe so that you can start shopping for the right pieces for you. Long story short, it's on juliemariebead.com under this post. That's all, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to Restoration Hardware and be inspired. So I have to go now, goodbye. Bye guys.